es grave y mortal. It's a deadly illness health officials in Equatorial Guinea have never seen before, but others have, and they're worried. Marburg belongs to the same family of viruses as Ebola, and like Ebola, has a very high fatality ratio. Marburg virus lives in fruit bats. It transmits from person to person through bodily fluids and causes severe hemorrhagic fever, bleeding in organs throughout the body. The illness kills 50 to nearly 90 percent of people infected. Previous outbreaks in Democratic Republic of Congo and Angola led to hundreds of deaths. There are no approved treatments or vaccines. People travel, people can move. It can, it can turn into a much larger problem. Public health doctors worldwide are racing to send experts, medical supplies and protective gear. Equatorial Guinea is reporting a handful of deaths. Several cases are still being investigated there and in Cameroon. Thousands of people are now being quarantined inside their homes. This is where there are some suspected cases just right across the border. So, Dr. Cameron you know, Kahn tracks viruses around the globe. He says the case count is likely an underestimate, noting outbreaks are kind of like house fires. Every second counts. You don't want the fire department coming uh, two hours from now because your house may be engulfed in flames. Raising the risk for more outbreaks. A raging fire can be launching embers to other parts of the planet. Canadian scientist Gary Kobinger worked on a Marburg vaccine over a decade ago. We had indeed, uh, at that time, a good vaccine uh, candidate. The work was shelved due to funding. Experts insist countries should invest in public health and get ahead of virus threats. It can end up costing billions of dollars, and the, the price of development of those vaccines and therapeutics is in the millions. This COVID-19 pandemic revealed several gaps. Experts say if lessons in protecting public health aren't learned, the same mistakes will be repeated. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.